afternoon and good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Uh, my name's Kelly and I am a podcaster. And I began podcasting with GarageBand uh, podcast template way back when. So, and I know a lot of it, people are like up in arms over Apple's uh, removing the podcast template from um, the. Um, from GarageBand in favor of <clears throat> more more music loop, music production or orientation, but never fear, there is a way to recreate or create your own podcast template, and this is how what I'm going to show you. You can see right now that I've got the um, the project listing up open for the new projects. I'm going to choose an empty project and. Okay, so we've got our empty project here, and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, select record using a microphone or line. And here we go. You can see right now that there is audio coming in. I'm going to create a secondary track. This is going to be for the music bed. And I'm going to rename this first audio input music bed intro. Um, I'm doing this in such a way because I also have uh, Pro Tools First, which is an updating of uh, Pro Tools Free, which was created by DigiDesign to get people into using Pro Tools. And Pro Tools has a podcast template, but Pro, Pro Tools has a steep learning curve to it. And even though I'm experienced in Pro Tools, I prefer doing my podcast recording in GarageBand. It is just simpler. Um, but what I like about the podcast template in Pro Tools is that they have um, it's set up in such a way that they have two music beds and then three audio beds, uh, voice narrator and guests. Um, and if you're doing a solo pod, uh, just one, just one in is fine. Um, you can add tracks as you go along now. To keep things simple, you can go to the, um, the, the, the presets here, and you can use either the narration vocal or the natural vocal, or you can um, open up the blank template for audio 2, and you can see everything's pretty well. there, nothing much. What you can do here is go to your settings and you can see that I have my recording that I'm using a Samson Meteor mic. I'm going to click feedback, per feedback protection in the event I actually want to have monitoring here so there's no feedback or echoing or latency. So I'm going to close this up and you can see that there's no plugins here. Just a compressor and a channel EQ. So you can add plugins, and for this, you can go down to um, your audio units. That's yeah, not quite what I was looking for. Uh, what do you got here? Specialized exciters. As you can see, there's no plugins here. <laughs> but anyway, so you would go here. So, like I said, you've got you've got a blank with just your basics, compressor and channel EQ. So, I'm gonna go and uh, I guess for podcast, I'm gonna go for a natural voice. And you can see there are more uh, plugins here. We've got channel EQ. Got got a compressor. Channel EQ one, two channel EQs here. Okay, and a blank one set. You can pretty well set on your own and your echo here for your natural voice. I'm also going to here um, activate the deesser. And what the, what the deesser does is that it removes the sibilance, the uh, and the from your recording, um, and that's always good to have. 
and you can also here check your um, voice de-esser because I'm a girl <laughs> uh, and if you're you're male you can also I'm gonna turn off the natural voice also um, go in here so I would say go here and you've got your male lead vocal male speaking you know so if you're depending on your um, gender you can change the EQ for your voice timbre the how your voice is pitched um, so because I am a girl I'm gonna hit vocal box so there you have it there's my channel EQ for natural vocal and from there we can close this and you've got your dynamics from here so you can change them get this this is your low shelf you know you can you can adjust these as you see fit And you can just, for more screen real estate, you can close that and you can also close the shelf. So there is your basic um, setup here. So let's go and turn this on and you can see we are now, I'm now recording. You can see the waveform and um, I'd record my intro here. Hello and welcome to At The Table. This is your host, Kelly Lincoln, and I'm here to... Uh, integrate my uh, garage band podcast template into today's show and there it is and again you've got you, you can you know I'm going to be using some sound effects so I'm going to be adding another musical bed here where I can drag and drop my my sound effects um, don't think I have any in here, but you know, do I have any set up yet? I don't think so. No. What do I got here? Ah, here we go. Get off my phone. So I'm going to drop that right here. And you can see it's titled is here. And I'm going to go back up here, and we're just going to, um, for those of you that don't know what this is, this is Glenn Beck um, flipping out. And it's a little clippy, so I'm going to bring the volume down a bit, so it's not as clippy. So, you can... You know, add, dra drag and drop uh, things. You can also just drag loops onto into it, and uh, you know. So you so that's that's how easy it is to create a podcast template uh, in GarageBand, and if you're working with video. You can still import your um, your movie if you've got one. I don't have I don't have anything to uh, import, but you can still do um, video casts. Uh, you can still in your notes, you know, create your notes and you know tell folks where to find the music you're using if you're not composing it yourself um, and since a lot of you already know this there's a lot of pod safe music sites out there like freesounds.org um, there's some great stuff there out there you can just do it do a search your favorite search engine for pod safe music and you'll 
be given uh, sites that will um, uh, happily uh, let you use their music in, in, re in, in return for an acknowledgement of where you found the song and who the composer is. And that, that, that's a Creative Commons thing. And that makes life easier, especially if you're uh, not too sure of your comp composition talents. Uh, that's the one thing I do miss um, about not having the podcast template or the were the jingles and the sound effects. That's not that big a deal because you can always add your own jingles, your own sound effects. There's sites out there, again, like freesound.org where you can pick up uh, sound effects, um, you know, waves and whatever else there is out there that you can use uh, for your podcast or for, for you know, just very, very simple to uh, find what you need out there. Another thing that I think is really important to do when you're, when you're podcasting is rather than going for with bar and beats, I would go with um, time because it lets you know how long a clip is, how long you're speaking, and this is very important, especially if, you know, you're, um, you know, running, you know, if you're running live. Um, I, I do have, when I'm not working weekends, a live show that becomes a podcast, obviously. So I do have to be aware of my time if I'm pre-recording. Um, and sometimes it's very difficult when you're talking by yourself to get in the complete amount of time, even if you have a breakdown as to what you want to talk about, what you, what ideas you want to express. Um, and that's why using time rather than beats and bars can make your life so much easier. Um, also, if you're pre-recording, you don't need the metronome and you don't need the count-in. Uh, those are strictly for uh, music. Uh, another thing that you can do is um, with the tracks are you've got you know when you're you know if you're if you are composing you've got your uh, arrangement track let's go back to the beginning here and you can click on there's your intro of course about 16 seconds worth of introduction keep clicking and then it shows you where your first verse comes in um, and, and all of that. If you don't need it, you hide the arrangement. Again, if you're recording a video log, video cast, you can import your, your movie and there's your, there's your movie track above you. Most of these other things are for um, music recording like your master track here there's your master track and that's where everything would you know oh of course you can always have the record enable button which makes everything easier so you can just hit that and then just hit Shift, you know, your shift and your recording over the over your track, maybe. <laughs> um, helps helps if you um, actually uh, hit the record <laughs> button as well. But hey, what can I say? I'm just an idiot. So you've got a whole bunch, you know. And once you're done with your recording, you can go through with your basic editing, and then you've got your. Um, your share aspects to so share to iTunes. Um, you can export the song to disc for uploading to your podcast site if you host it somewhere else. Um, it's entirely up to you. You can bring it up to SoundCloud. Uh, there's your smart controls. Again, these are your your editing tools. your editor so you can uh, edit your audio a little bit cleaner. There's your track, your keys, all that good stuff. 
and stretch it for stretch time and whatever else you want to do with it play around with it um, that's basically it you know very simple very easy oh and then of course you want to save it to uh, you know So, you know. And there you go. Your very own how to create a podcast template in GarageBand. Leave a comment if you like it. Uh, leave a comment if you didn't like it. You know, just let me know what you think I could do to improve this. Politely, though. Politely. And um, thanks for watching.